Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to create a Discord bot. So we're going to need uh, a couple of things to get started. First thing we will need is Visual Studio Code. So go to code.visualstudio.com and grab Visual Studio Code. Uh, the next thing you will need is Node. So go to nodejs.org and download and install Node. Of course, you will also need a Discord account and that's about it. So now let's get started. Okay, I've opened Visual Studio Code and I've gone File, Open Folder and I've created a folder called TestBot and just opened that blank folder. So we've got a nice blank folder to get started in. So the first thing we want to do is open a terminal. So do terminal, new terminal. So let's type in here npm init dash y. And that will create a package.json file which will have some sensible defaults. And the only thing we want to change in here for the moment is tell node that we're going to use ES6 modules. So we do type and module like so. And actually we're not going to do any tests. So let's just change this script to start. And we want to run uh, our index.js with node. So we just do node space index.js. So let's create this index.js file now. So if we right click in here, do new file and create index.js. And the first thing we want to do is import and we want to import client and intents from discord.js but we don't have this discord.js so we need to install that so if we come back to our terminal and we can simply do npm install discord.js and that will go away and install discord.js. And now we com can come back to index.js and let's create our client. So we do const client is equal to new client. And we want to set up our intents. So what intents are we going to use? Well, this is gonna be a very simple bot and we want to set a couple of flags here. So we want to have access to guilds and we want to have access to guild messages like so. Now we want some kind of feedback to let us know that the client is ready. So what we can do is we can do client dot wants and we can say on ready we want to console.log that we are ready. We need to close that with a curly bracket like so. Now, how do we log in? Well, we need to do client.login and here we are going to paste in our token. Now at the moment we don't know our token. So this is what we need to do next. Right, how we get how do we get our token? Well, 
if we go to discord.com forward slash developers slash applications and we want to create a new application so click new application I'm just going to call mine test bot like so and click create now if we click on bot here and we want to add bot and then yes do it and then it doesn't like the name of my bot so let's go back here and let's call this something a bit more unique like uh, super awesome test bot save changes go back to bot add bot yes do it huh. this time it's happier and this is we where we get our token so if we click copy here switch back to our code and we can simply paste our token into here like so of course don't do what I'm doing which is reveal the token to anyone I will delete this uh, bot as soon as I finish this tutorial but if we save that now and do an npm start so if we do an npm start we should see ready come up here which means that our client is nice and happy okay right what are we going to do with this bot well this is a very simple bot so we're going to do something very simple we're just going to respond to an exclamation mark hello so how do we do that well if we do client dot on and what are we looking for? Well, we're going to look for a new message. And when we receive this message, we are going to run this arrow function. So to double check that we are running this arrow function correctly when we receive a message, we'll just console log out for the moment. So let's just save that and let's control c and npm start again to restart our bot and now of course we want to test our bot by actually adding the bot to a discord server so that we can type in messages and see this console log out so let's do that next so we want to go into discord and i would recommend creating a new server to test your bot in so let's do add a server and create my own uh, for me and my friends server name that's fine and there you go we have got a new server but we do not have our bot in the server here, so we need to sort that out next. If we come back to our Discord developer portal, and now we want to go into this OAuth2 tab. And let's go down to URL generator, URL generator. Tick bot in here and we want to read messages and view channels let's uh, send messages let's manage messages i think that should be enough so if we scroll down to the bot all the way to the bottom we can click copy like so and then if we open a new tab and paste that into the address bar we may need to log in again and then let's select our server click continue yeah the test bot wants to be able to read messages send messages manage messages authorize and now if we go back to our discord server we should see that our super awesome test bot is in our discord server 
All right, so now if we type a message in here, let's just type in hello, like so. Let's see if our hello is getting console logged out. And there you go, it's console logged out. So we are coming into this bit of code here, and now we just want to handle the messages that we want our bot to react to. So if we do something like if message dot content dot starts with and let's say we want to respond to exclamation mark hello and we can just say hello back like so. If we save that and remember to control C and then NPM start. If we go back to our server now, and of course, if we just do hello, it shouldn't do anything. But if we do exclamation mark, hello, our test bot will say hello back. So that's about the simplest bot I can think of to add to a Discord server. Um, but that covers the basics. And I'm going to do a follow-up tutorial that'll dive a lot deeper into creating a bot. Um, because for a bot to be really useful, you're going to want to have a database on the back end so you can save information and um, do lots of cool stuff. Um, in fact, if I quickly show you what's possible with your own bot, let me just show you what I knocked up in a day. So in the Rogue Fox Guild server, I've created a fox bot here. And if you do a forward slash fox, you can see the kind of things that the fox bot is responding to. You can do a Fox Daily. So if I choose Fox Daily and then hit enter, then I receive a daily award. And if I say something like Fox Explore, then I randomly explore the barren lands. And that's kind of the worst uh, uh, location I can get because I don't get any rewards. Um, and of course, if I try and do Fox Explore again, I'm on cooldown, so I won't be able to explore again for another 3 hours, 59 minutes and 31 seconds, which is a bit painful. And of course, we can look at the leaderboard, so Fox Board, and that'll show the current leaderboard and how everyone's doing. Uh, I'm doing so badly, I'm not even on the leaderboard. So in a future tutorial, I'll go through uh, how to create a more complex bot like this. I hope you found this tutorial useful and thank you for watching.